Dear friends, welcome to another project video. In this video, we are going to take a first look at this great new display for Arduino, which uses the ST7789 driver and build a temperature monitor with it. Let's start. I discovered this display on Banggood.com a few weeks ago, and since the price was so tempting, just $6, I decided to give it a try. You can find a link to it in the description of the video below. The display is small in size, it is 1.3 inches, but it offers a great resolution, 240 by 240 pixels. The pixel density is very high, so it can display sharp images and graphics. If we compare it with the popular 1 inch OLED display, you can see it is slightly bigger than it and slightly smaller than the 1.8 inch color TFT display we have used many times in the past. The display uses the ST7789 driver. This display was designed to be used in wearable devices, such as smart bands. That's why it offers such a high resolution and that's why it is so affordable. It uses the SPI interface and it is really fast. Check this demo out, it is blazing fast. Let's now see how to connect it with Arduino. I am using an Arduino Uno today, but you can use any Arduino compatible port. Since the display uses the SPI interface, we are going to use the hardware SPI pins of the Arduino Uno. The first pin is ground, and it is connected to the Arduino ground. The second pin is VCC, and it is connected to the 3.3 volt output of the Arduino Uno. Be extra careful here, if you connect it to the 5 volt output, you will damage the display. The next pin, SEL, goes to digital pin 13. SDA pin goes to digital pin 11, RES pin goes to digital pin 8, DC pin goes to digital pin 7, and lastly, pin BLK stays unconnected. That's it! The hardware setup is ready. Let's now see the software we need to drive this display. One of the best libraries to use with this display is the Arduino ST7789 Fast Library developed by a longtime viewer of the channel, CBM80 Amiga. Please check out his YouTube channel here. He is doing a great job and he has developed many great libraries for Arduino. His library is probably the fastest library available for this display, so we are going to use it in our project. In order to use the library, we have to visit the GitHub page of the library and download it in our computer. Next, we have to unzip it, rename it like this, and copy it in the Arduino libraries folder. We also need to download the Adafruit GFX library. The easiest way to do it is via the Arduino ID. From the menu, we select Sketch Include Library Manage Libraries. Then we search for the Adafruit GFX library and uh, after we find it, we press Install. Now we are ready to use the display. From the menu, we select File Examples Arduino Fast ST7789 Library and we select the Arduino Adafruit Benchmark Example. Now we press the Upload button and after a few seconds, the sketch is uploaded to the Arduino Uno and it is pretty impressive. Check out how fast it is. If I am not mistaken, it is the fastest display for Arduino I have ever used. I am really impressed by the performance of this display and the library we are using. Using. This is great! Let's now build something useful with this display. Let's add a DS18B20 temperature sensor in order to build a simple temperature monitor. The sensor has only three pins to connect. The first one is ground, so it is connected to the Arduino ground. The middle pin is VCC, which goes to the Arduino 5V output. And the last pin is the signal pin, and it goes to digital pin 2 of the Arduino Uno. You can find the schematic diagram in a link in the description of the video. That's it! Let's now download the DS18B20 library we are going to need for this example. From the menu of the Arduino IDE, we select Sketch Include Library Manage Libraries. Then we search for DS18B20 and we download the Dallas Temperature Library. All we have to do now is to upload the sketch I have developed and the screen now displays the temperature and the minimum and maximum temperature values it has recorded. 
Can you see that the display does not flicker at all when the temperature changes? That's because it is a very fast display. In this example, the temperature is displayed in degrees Celsius, but I have also prepared a version of the code which displays the temperature in degrees Fahrenheit. As you can see, the code of the project is pretty straightforward. The display library uses the function of the Adafruit GFX library, so it is very easy to use. You can find a link to both sketches in the description of the video. As a final thought, after working with the display for a few days, I highly recommend it. It is going to become one of my favorite displays because it is very fast, inexpensive and it offers a great resolution. What do you think about this display? Have you used it in the past? Please share your thoughts in the comment section below and if you think this video was useful, consider giving it a like. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.